Hello and welcome to another Kumis Kitchen and another potato salad. This is a little bit of a different potato salad. I'm dedicating this to my old college buddy, Dan Melchior, because Dan hated anchovies. <laughs> I used to, uh, Dan and I, during the summer, um, during college years, so I, I did renovations and I hired Dan on as my helper. We did a ton of different renovations together. And I'd be running back and forth. Sometimes we had three jobs in a day going. And I remember quite a few times I would order pizzas from this one pizza place and have them delivered to the job site. And I like anchovy and feta pizzas. Now, Dan hates anchovies, but the little blighter, what he would do is he'd pick the anchovies off of a slice. If I wasn't there when the pizza showed up, he'd help himself to a slice of my pizza. So one day I got him. I ordered double anchovy feta pizza. Even the pizza delivery guy thought it was really weird, but it was delicious. And Dan did not take any of that pizza. So this here is uh, anchovy and feta cheese potato salad. And you're thinking, whoa, wait a second. Yeah, it's great. The anchovies just gives it that right amount of um, saltiness in there. And in the feta cheese, and just, mm, just, just I don't know, it's just perfect. We we had this, uh, oh, about two weeks ago, and man, it was great. Uh, we didn't even let it cool down. We ate it as it was. It was still warm the first day. The second day, uh, the leftovers were cold, delicious both ways. Look at this. Yeah, you know, and oh, there's capers in here too. So you've got all these different flavor sensations happening in here in a potato salad. Oh, yeah. You're gonna like that. Let's go in the well, you're gonna like that. Dan's not gonna like that. Let's go in the kitchen and make this right now. All right, so here's our ingredients for our potato salad. Uh, across the front of all the dressing ingredients, and then we got the salad itself back here. So for the dressing ingredients, I've got a third of a cup of olive oil. I've got uh, three tablespoons of vinegar, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. That's the Dijon, not the Dijonese, but the Dijon mustard, straight mustard. Um, three cloves of garlic crushed, one teaspoon of pepper, and a half teaspoon of salt. And now, across the back here, for the salad itself. Well, of course, there's the potatoes. That is two pounds or 900 grams of potatoes, and I've cut them into pieces that are just a little under three quarters of an inch, so about 20 millimeters, uh, just a little under 20 millimeters actually. You want them about the same thickness, so it's okay to be big this way, as long as one dimension is at around about three quarters of 20 millimeters, because that way we get even cooking. Then, and you see we've got the water coming to a boil over here right now, so that's gonna be going in in a second. Let's finish off with the ingredients. This is two ton, Two tons, oh that's a lot. Two tins of uh, anchovies and they've been chopped up. So, little tins like that. And I love these tins. This is so, the little picture in the front <laughs> always attracts me. The uh, owl and, no, not the owls, <laughs> the owl and the pussycat. The uh, bunny and the pussycat. So, I understand the cat fishing for anchovies. I'm not too sure why the rabbit is fishing for anchovies. That's just a little weird, but hey, the anchovies are good. All right, then here I've got one and a half tablespoons of capers, and here are seven ounces or 200 grams of feta cheese crumbled. Now, don't crumble them too small. Uh, some of the pieces are like about that big because, you know, give it a little pockets of flavor throughout our uh, potato salad. So let's get the potatoes started because that water is boiling. Get those in there. around here we go all right you bring that back up to a boil I'm gonna boil those for about 10 to 15 minutes what I want is fork tender that means when I push a fork in it goes in pretty easily without the point where it's falling apart we don't want the potatoes falling apart but we do want them pretty tender so once the fork could go in there that's it they're ready all right while we're waiting for that let's start making the uh, dressing itself so we'll get a big bowl here and let's just put in all the dressing ingredients. So we get that olive oil in there. And then we put in the vinegar. 
get that mustard. All right, then the garlic. And mm, mm, mm. garlic and mustard, very nice. The uh, pepper, the salt, and all we do is whisk it up. So whisk it and that uh, mustard, it kind of acts like the emulsifier, just like if you were putting mayonnaise or something in here. Look at that, it just brings it all together. What we'll do is I give it a, a whisk again just before we put in the potato salad. But for right now, that's all ready to go. This is just all waiting on the potatoes. So I'll see you back here in about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so those have uh, cooked for about 12, 13 minutes there and uh, drain them. As you can see, we take a fork, just grab a potato and uh, the fork slides in nicely. So. Those are good to go. Some of them are starting already, the peels coming off. So that's just at the edge where you don't want it to go beyond that. So that's perfect. I give this uh, dressing a bit more of a whisk again. And then I'm gonna add in the potato. All right, so what I wanna do now is just mix that potato around and get it all tossed with the dressing. All right, once that's done, time to toss in the capers. Now, you can wait until it cools down. Um, with feta cheese, it doesn't really melt, so not much, just a little tiny bit, so you don't really have to. I just toss it in now. Um, if you want the feta cheese to really stay more crumbly like that, ah, let it cool down, then toss it in. In go the anchovies. Oh, that's got to give that lovely salty flavor throughout. I hope Dan's watching. Mmm, Dan. Anchovies. <laughs> and you're not picking those out of here. They're all throughout. All right, look at that. That's getting nice and a little creaminess now. Perfect. Okay, now I say, I just toss the uh, feta cheese in now. It does just slightly melts the edges a little bit, but still, you still get that feta cheese throughout. So I like to add it in now. Okay, there we go. And that is ready. You gotta chill that down a bit. First, let it cool down. It's a little too hot to even throw in the refrigerator right now. Let it cool down a bit. Toss in the refrigerator. That's dinner tonight. All right, if you like this idea of anchovies and feta cheese in your potato salad, and you would like some other kind of uh, unique dishes, well, stay here on the channel and check it out because uh, I've been uploading for years now. There's Every week, so there's a lot of uh, recipes on here. They're all um, original. Kevin Riley, Kuma's Kitchen Recipes. I make them up in the kitchen at home and bring them here to you on YouTube. All right, if this is your first time here or if you have not yet done so, make sure you subscribe and click that uh, notification bell so that you always find out when a new recipe comes out. Now, go make this and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen.